brilliant from Matthew. He's really controlling Shabagi. But Shabagi with that deadly forehand, and that's the other side of the coin. Uh, sorry, the other side of the coin from Hamid El Shabagi. He can be made to do a huge Two amount six. of work, PJ, but he has got such an artillery himself. And that forehand is yeah, thunderous. Yeah. Probably as he gets warmer and the adrenaline really starts to flow, then you'll see him loosen up a bit more. I'm sure he'll be feeling a bit stiff from that match with Shabana. That was a good shot. Good choice of shot here from Shabagi. He just closes out Nick Matthew. 3-7. Finals, Joey, when the banter was going back and forth between these two players. I remember Mohamed El Shabagi warning Nick Matthew to grab a chair in between games. It's something that the Englishman prides himself on. He, he claims he's so fit and strong he doesn't need to sit down in between the games here. <laughs> but in that semi final, Shabagi had the ability to force the pace as much as he did for as long as he did, and that actually did bring Nick Matthew to a grinding halt. I'm not seeing Second that same five. pace in the movement and hitting of Shibagi tonight. Game ball for El Shabagi. Well, he shut him out. He shut him out. Matthew will be furious with himself. The screams of Yalla from Ahmed El Shabagi really gritting his teeth. The beast of Alexandria. taking the ball so early at the and moment. Nick Matthews barely got time to recover back to the tee. A lot of exchanges into this front left corner. Those are brutal yeah. movements. You see oh, Shivagi starting to growl. Being more proactive here, Nick Matthews. 6-9. And he's done it. He's made Matthew pay. Put the ball away severely in that front right-hand corner. Storms off court. That's brilliant. Oh, he's gone a bit wild there. When you go for the cross court, Nick, that hard, you've got to make sure it stays in there. See, he was really out of position. Four, three. Matthew counterpunched. Wild out of position, and Matthew punishing Shabagi. Better again. Uh, Backhand Matthew. volley drop shot. And the pace. The combination of the two, Joe. And plucks this out eight, of the air six. quite brilliantly, Nick Matthew. Well, it's the pattern again. It's that pattern that's really helped Matthew. Squeezing Shabagi loose on the backhand wall with the drive and then going short.
Switch. Got a chance here. Oh, Matthew is drawn on every. And there it is. Too good a win. Matthew hang on, hung on so much in that rally, but Shabagi's barrage hitting. There's the smile from Matthew Shabagi. These two always have a chat, don't they, after a match on court? So Hamadel Shabagi falling to the floor. He will be exhausted physically and mentally. You see the fingers shaking with adrenaline. 83 minutes, Hamid El Shabagi takes down Nick Matthew, 5'11", 11'9", 11'8". I say 83 minutes between these two guys and uh, Shabagi ma massing up 25 total winners. That's not extraordinary from this Egyptian. He has such an artillery. Matthew's backhand volley drop really stood out for me and ironically, that was the shot that let him down to take El Shabagi to his second championship ball opportunity. The errors from Shabagi more than Matthew, but the positive play of the Egyptian predominantly produced a few more unforced errors, but uh, the performance from Nick Matthew, absolutely brilliant. And now I'd like to introduce first time champion here, the world number one, played an unbelievable tournament, Congratulations to Mohammed El Shabagi. You're a class act. Congratulations, Mohammed. Take a hold of the trophy, put it up above your head. People want to take some pictures.